In this video, we will learn how to launch a static code scan using SonarCube. So to get started, SonarCube is an open source tool widely used to scan static code for bugs and vulnerabilities. So SonarCube provides a centralized results in a server for better visibility and management. So SAST, which stands for Static Application Security Testing, this is actually an automated test that is performed on your source code, preferably like before deploying your application into a production environment. There are several tools like Qualys, uh, SonarCube, and there are many other tools which can perform this test. But in this video, we will look into one of the most common open source options, which is SonarCube. To run SonarCube, you need a dedicated server running the SonarCube, which you see on the screen, uh, SonarCube. And I opened port uh, 9000 and currently I'm in creating the projects. So you need a dedicated server running SonarCube and a specific sc scanner is required in your local machine where your code is being developed. So it's a client server relationship, like your client will be your machine where you're developing your code and your server, SonarCube server will be your main server where all your specific scanners, they report the data to the um, server. So this scanner sends the results to the server, thus like centralizing all the information and giving access to all the contributors and different uh, managers and all you, you can give access to specific one. So now we've learned how to run, a, how to scan a project. So how you scan your code depends on which framework or the language you're using to develop your code. For example, some people use Gradle, some people use MS Build, Maven, Azure, Jenkins, some people use Ant. So you have to know what plugin is suitable for your framework or the language that you write your code in. And you need uh, a, spe a specific scanner. For example, you have your Maven code. Uh, you need a Maven scanner in order to scan the Maven uh, framework or the Maven language or Maven code. So for other languages, SonarCube provides a universal Sonar scanner. Um, so in our case, the Sonar scanner is already been downloaded and set up on our desktop machine. So we have it already set up on our machine. Now we will get into a little bit of practical stuff on this. So we are developing some code. We have our PHP code here. Uh, for example, we want to scan this code. This is locally available and you want to scan this code using SonarCube. So that's the practical thing that we are going to do. And the first thing we have to do is basically to create a project inside SonarCube. This will be like a centralized project. So it will be collecting the information from the Sonar scanner, which is installed locally, and it will do the static application security test. So code scan. So we'll display the project. We'll call it um, technology first. And the project key is a unique identifier for the project. So it, it can be helpful for us to do the API calls um, to SonarCube in order to do it using project key. So we'll set this up. Now we have our uh, project set up. So what we're going to do is we can use a CI CD uh, mechanism to, to analyze the code or you can also analyze using your repository. For example, you have your GitHub you can do it and if you're using Azure pipelines, you can integrate this into your Azure pipeline with uh, GitLab CI Jenkins widely used. You can do that. But here in our case, we are going to do it manually. So what we are going to do is basically we will enter a name for the token and we'll generate the token. So this is our token. We'll keep a track on this token. And we can continue. So what we're doing is basically run a type of an analysis. So 
as you remember we we have our code which is built in php so what we're going to do is basically select the other tab and on which operating system you want to test this code on which will be your linux and this is basically your uh, sonar scanner um, command that you will use to execute the scanner so what you do is you copy this and you can open the command line Now what we need to do is basically we need to go to the directory where we have the code. So this is where we have the code and what we need to do is just run this particular code. What this does is basically it's setting the sonar project key which we have and the login you remember the token that we generated so that's the official token so you just need to execute the following commands in your projects folder so let's copy this and execute so it loads the plugins that are required to scan the project and all your details will be coming back to your project like uh, if you see your project here uh, you have one project which is called technology first and if you go to that project and if you go to the issues uh, yeah it will be available once uh, the scan gets completed but as of now the scanning is running and it's it will identify whatever the vulnerabilities and bugs it will it will find so that completes the scan now it, it provides us that analysis is successful you can browse the dashboard now so you see all conditions have passed on, on this particular one, but it reported around uh, 594 bugs, zero vulnerabilities, some security hotspots, and whatever the du duplication of code. It also does the code quality analysis. So it identifies the deduplications and uh, duplicated blocks. So this is the overall code scan and how we do the projects so basically you can you have an option to directly integrate with your ci cd pipelines you have your option to run it locally and you can also do a repository based scans so i hope this video is informative i hope you learned something about sonar cube this is a one of the widely used static application security testing as well as code scanning tool widely in the market so I hope this video is informative. Stay tuned for more videos and thank you very much for watching it. Till the next video, happy learning.